I never met a girl who could spiral or kick past the rugby ball better than me before, which freaked me out, but it sort of turned me on at the same time. <laughs> When I asked this gorgeous couple, who are smiling, which is great, why they were getting married now, they said, and I quote them exactly as I really can't improve on their words, we have found our other half within each other and feel it is time to tie the knot. They fully understand, however, that while they make their marriage vows in front of you today, the commitment of marriage takes a lifetime of love, support, work and fun to fulfil. Shannon, I give you this ring as a symbol of the vows we have made to each other and of the love we share. Matt, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you and that I will always be a faithful partner to you. The very new Mr and Mrs Short. Could you please place your hand on top of Shannon's hand? And now could everyone please raise a glass and join me in a toast for the last time Matt will ever have the upper hand. I love you both. <laughs> I don't think Matt could have found a better fit for him. You're a very calm and adventurous person, which sits so well with Matt. It's quite clear you're made for each other. Shannon, Matt is one of the highest quality people I know. You've snagged a good one. I did say to Matthew a few years ago, I said, you know, there's only three things as a dad I would like. And, and one is if you married a good rusty girl and she came from a, you know, a good rugby club. And, and she was a good cook. <laughs> well, um, one out of three is not bad. So. Mum is the best, but I know the truth. There is no contest. You've been amazing my whole life. But thanks to you, I'm ready to become a wife. I'm so lucky to have you as a friend and even luckier, your mum. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for bringing such joy to my life. So lucky the lovely son you raised wants me to be wife. <laughs> Take a deep breath. We should have done free oh. makeup. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> At 8.04am on the 4th of January 2018, New Zealand time, I got a call from Matt, who was in Paris, asking me for permission to ask Shannon to marry him. I was just so impressed he did that. Very respectful. Uh, Matt, we welcome you and we're very proud to have you. Yeah, see, it's just, I don't know about luck or timing in life, but um, I think it was timing. This lovely lady came along, right, along at the right time and I congratulate you, Shannon, on that. Jordan and I love you for it. Matt, I love you. You are my best friend. I thank you for the journey we've already shared. Our memories, our laughter, our adventures, and our accomplishments. I'll be your friend and life partner, no matter what life brings. Today, I give you my hand, heart, and my love. I, Shannon, take you, Matthew, as my husband. Shannon, I love you. 
You are my best friend and the person I wish to continue creating and living a wonderful life with. We've already shared and experienced unforgettable adventures and memories, which I want to continue until we grow old. I promise to bring joy, laughter and happiness into your life. I am yours, you are mine. From this day until the end of our days, I, Matthew, take Shannon as my wife. In the presence of your families and friends, it is my very great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. And now what you've all been waiting for, Matt, you may kiss your beautiful wife. <laughs>